What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. We couldn't let this week go by without talking about round one of the Moto America King of the Baggers series that has just kicked off this last weekend in Atlanta. Take a quick minute to subscribe to the channel down below and let's get stuck into it. So if you didn't know, last year, Harley Davidson, Indu Motorcycles, Moto America, they came together to launch the King of the Baggers competition, taking big bagger motorcycles, turning them into race bikes, and ripping them around Laguna Seca. It was an awesome event and uh, it got everyone a buzz. This year, due to the popularity of that competition, they relaunched the series with a four round championship and it kickstarted this last weekend in Atlanta. Last year's Laguna Seca winner, Tyler O'Hara, is back on his factory racing Indian motorcycle Challenger and he's the person to beat going into this championship. But this year, Harley Davidson gave us a bit of a surprise by relaunching their Screaming Eagle factory race team. And with it, Carl Warman is taking the helm behind the Road Glide for Screaming Eagle. And that bike looks pretty sick. If you haven't checked out the race, I definitely advise you do so. It's a pretty awesome thing to behold. In fact, I'll leave a link below to the highlights of the first round in Atlanta. And you can just go through the comment section and just look at all of the Superbike fans giving praise to these bikes and these riders just with how much fun they are to watch around the track. So the first round was a pretty awesome race. Uh, Tyler O'Hara, he makes a slip off the start, allowing Carl Wyman to take pole position going into the first corner. And man, the pace from those two was strong the whole entire race. Uh, they just kind of left the rest of the pack and it was a battle between those two right until the end. And it became pretty clear that these bikes were very closely matched, which I don't think was the case at the Laguna Seca round. Harley Davidson really stepped it up on the Screaming Eagle factory road glide for Carl Wyman. Just looking at this bike, it is just beauty to behold. Uh, carbon fiber body, everything's been swapped out to lightweight uh, parts. We've got Olin's suspension and the whole Olin's team there at the track making adjustments on race day to make sure it's fully set up. And the mechanic even mentioned about 52 degrees of lean angle coming out of that road glide, which is insane. So these bikes are fully spec to rip round these race tracks. And listening to those huge V-twins rumble down the straightaways is pretty epic. What I hope comes from this is not a huge fanboy argument of Harley Davidson versus Indian motorcycle, but really as a community of big V-twin motorcycle lovers getting around this sport and getting around these kind of races because it's just so much fun to watch. And this race is a great example of that. Uh, O'Hara managed to outbreak Wyman into a corner mid-race and it was kind of epic and sketchy to watch as he kind of brought that challenger to a late stop and take the lead. Carl Wyman comes straight back at him, passes him on the straight to take the inside line and takes back that first position. And finally, just before the end of the race, O'Hara takes the lead and is the winner of this first round. Kyle Wyman comes in second with only half a second behind the leader. So it was just such a great race to watch and really gets me excited about kind of the V-twin uh, bagger and race movement. I really love that performance side of the Harley Davidson community. Um, and I think that this is definitely gonna have a big impact on the market and what people like to do with their bikes. In fact, Harley Davidson have been documenting this whole season so far with their King of the Bagger series. And in one of those episodes, I think it was episode one, they even mentioned that through their R&D, through getting preparation for this event, they've actually got some Screaming Eagle parts ready to go to market for consumers to buy for their bikes. So this is awesome to see. And I think this is definitely the push that these brands need to bring these bikes uh, kind of to the 21st century, taking this cool classic V-twin culture and using race R&D to really modernize their performance aspects and bring them to the consumer. I think not only is it gonna improve our lives as you know enthusiasts of these bikes already, but as we can see already, other motorcycle riders who weren't necessarily looking at these kind of motorcycles are all of a sudden seeing that these can be a lot of fun and make a really good kind of everyday bike that is not only convenient for all of the touring and luggage capabilities, 
but also a blast to rip on too. So, hey, whatever side you fall on, Indian or Harley Davidson, it's all good fun and competition is great. And I think this Moto America series is gonna be a big, big win for everyone. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Let me know if you've been watching the racing and I'll catch you on the next video. Peace. Yeah.